Hey guys, welcome back to another FX Depot tutorial. Now, as you know, according to the title of this video, I'm going to talk about creating use maps. Okay, it's a really fun uh, thing that we use in HTML, and it kind of makes the website more interactive, you know, if you know what I mean. So, I'll just show you a little example on how to actually make these use maps, alright? It will actually make your website more popular amongst other viewers. So anyways, I'll just show you what to do. Now the first thing you need, of course, is a good good source editor, like the one I have here, which is Notepad++. And remember, always create a new folder for your website, like the one I created here. I've just named it folder. I mean, I've named it just website. Okay, you put all your files, uh, HTML files, codes, everything within this folder, all right? So, anyways, I'll just open up the Notepad++ source editor now. And I'll just type in a code which creates use maps. So, we start with the HTML opening and closing tags. And then we'll open up our body tags. Sorry. And then within them, we'll open our image tag. And I have an image inside the folder that I just talked about right now called Carrot Angel. I'll tell you what it's about in a minute. Then I'll give it a title. Well, let's call it Carrot Top and Chris Angel. I know, funny combination, right? And then just add in this attribute, which is called Use Map Attribute. We'll add a hash and we'll call it Carrot Angel or whatever name you want. Okay? And then within that, we'll start a new thing called map name. We'll use the name we gave here, carrot angel, and we'll use it as that same ID class function, only this is a little more different. And we'll leave out the whole hash thing, and we'll just type in carrot angel. And we'll type in our map um, closing tag. Then within these, we'll start the area tag, we'll give the shape. Uh, I'm going to choose rectangle as a shape, so we'll make it rect. Then we have the chords, which stands for coordinates. We'll talk about that in just a second. Then we have href, which is the URL to which the image will go once you click it. I'm assuming you know what image maps are, okay? If you don't know, please check it on Wikipedia or some other um, site online, all right? So href, I'm just going to take it to www.google.com. Okay, then Alt. Let's leave Alt out of this mess. Okay, then that is for Carrot Top. Then we need to put one for Chris Angel. That too is going to be a rectangle. Then we'll put in our chords, which I'll talk about in a sec again. Then this time I'm going to take this www. Dot, um, sorry, gmail. Dot com. Okay. All right, so we'll save it in that folder I was talking about website. Wait a second, it doesn't open. Just wait a second. Yeah, okay, see, this is the picture I was talking about, Carrot Angel. I don't know how more creepier this can get. So, anyways, we'll call it index.htm or HTML, and we'll save it as hypertext markup file here. I hope you can see it. All right, now we'll save it. Okay, now let's cut out of this. We'll go back in here. We'll open our folder, and we'll find the HTML code here and the image here. All right, now if you're pulling it out from your own computer, the image, of course, you have to keep it in the same folder. Otherwise, it will not be able to pull out the image. Whereas if you're trying to um, take it out from the internet, you need to type its URL and you need to have internet connection on or connected while you're testing your HTML code. So anyways, we'll talk about the coordinates now. Now coordinates is what specifies the part of the image. Now, as you, as you can see, what I want to do is basically this. I want a rectangle on carrot top right here that when I click it, it'll take me to Google. And I want another rectangle, completely separate from Carrot Top, on Chris Angel's face only. 
that'll take us to gmail.com now that is what basically image mapping is what we're doing is we're creating selected areas on an image on which if we click it'll take us to that specific URL and now you can see what kind of attractiveness it gives to the website viewers it really increases your number of viewers and everything it's a, it's a really good thing so anyways we need to find out the coordinates of this particular image as I was talking about so I have a great website it's not mine but I, I know a great website where you can actually upload the image and you can select the area that you want and it'll spit out the coordinates which you can add in our code right here in the empty chords um, attribute which I did not talk about so let's go down to Mozilla Firefox let's open up a new tab let's go to google.com and here I'll just type in mashek you okay so see here you can find out this is the one I was talking about online image map editor so you click that first result and if you want the URL you can find it right here it's on top over here okay just takes a few minutes coming in meanwhile I'll open up our index for editing okay and this is where we type in our coordinates right here okay so this is our online image map editor mashek what kind of name anyways we'll we'll use an image from our computer okay so we'll browse it and we'll come down to our website folder and we'll choose carrot angel then we'll upload it okay so it's gonna upload the image and then after that's done we click accept okay so now the image is uploaded down here okay so now we select the area here you can specify what kind of um, shape you want you want rectangle because I use rectangle for the code if you want circle you have to change the code and in the shape you have to type in the value as circle if you want it as a polygon you can type in your value as polygon so anyways I'm going to select a rectangle and then you have this sort of crosshair sort of um, symbol that comes when you put your uh, cursor over the image so anyways, here I'm going to choose the entirety of carrot top's face okay that's carrot top's face pretty much alright so see here you can see it spit it out the coordinates okay and then now we'll choose rectangle again and I'll create another one for Chris Angel sorry for Chris Angel's face Okay. Fine. So now it's got these two coordinates spit out. All right. Now let's go back to our code. Let's just minimize it over to the side. And in the first one, we'll copy paste these coordinates. Copy. Let's just paste it. And there we have the coordinates for that. We'll take this. Copy. Go back over here and let's paste it and then we can cut this and we can go back over to our uh, source editor now you save that file and now we're all ready to go that's it see it's done all you need to do is the small snippet of code that allows you to kill click that and it'll specifically take you to that website anyways let's just add it in here uh, title to just tell you what the hell is going on so let's say we'll take you to Google that's our title for that one then our title for this will be we'll take you to Gmail okay that's it and now let's open up our code wait a second just go ahead click run launch in Firefox and voila see as you can see my cursor over here I hope you can see this is not clickable on the image except in this area of carrot tops face and if you can see right down there in the bottom left corner of 
the screen you can see the URL it'll take you to which is Google and if I shift over to Chris Angel's head it'll take me to Gmail and you can see the title of the image which comes will take you to Google will take you to Gmail whereas if I remove my cursor away from their heads you can see that it'll take you nowhere except in these two parts so that's what you do for image mapping so let's just check out our URLs let's see where it takes us there while our carrot tops carrot top takes us to Google so the other link also must be working so basically that's how you write the code alright and I'll be coming up with more tutorials on these sort of things in the future alright so hope you like the tutorial okay and more tutorials will be coming up and goodbye